72 MGB GT in Harvest Gold. It's factory original color. Uh, this one was restored as what we call a passion project, where you're spending more than the car is worth by a long shot. Um, this is just an incredible example of an MGB GT, and it's clear as day the past owner who we know went at it with nothing but passion and wanted to make sure that it was the nicest MB, MGB GT he'd ever seen. And for what we've seen in MGB GTs, it, I think he has done a heck of a job. So we're just out on the highway now. I'm in fourth gear. We're doing 55 miles per hour, just under 3,000 RPM. And it tracks really nice. Shifts nice, transmission feels good, clutch brakes, everything feels great, or feels great. Joel just did a walk around video which really goes through all of the nooks and crannies of the car, but if you're looking for a fun little British sports car that is welcome at any British event to show and be proud to show up in, uh, I think this is a heck of an example. Um, it's always difficult with cars of this value to see them restored properly because, you know, in every case you have to spend way more than the car is worth uh, to get a finished product like this. I can say, you know, I restored a Alfa Romeo 1750 GTV and I spent $130,000 restoring that. So I don't know how this would be done for a whole lot less in today's... Uh, restoration world. It doesn't matter if you're chroming the windshield wipers on a 300 SL or an MGB, it's the same price. Uh, and that's where corners get cut in most cases with uh, restorations on cars of this value. It's just, it makes no economic sense for people to uh, go through the process and restore them. But this was one of those cars that uh, the past owner came to us with it and said, hey, I, uh, I've had this car for a little while like to sell it what do you think um, and our initial response was well we don't really do mgbs but why don't you bring it by and we'll have a look when he showed up we were blown away the uh, level of documentation that he's got the quality of the restoration um, you know it truly is second to none i, I don't think uh, you could pick much apart with the work that he did some tasteful upgrades like this wood steering wheel is uh, is something that I think just looks uh, incredible. It's a Motolita steering wheel. Uh, he painted the wheels instead of chroming them, which personally I like. Uh, I'm not a big fan of chrome wheels and they always uh, get pitted over time. So uh, a couple little things that would be non-correct, like the, the grill on the car is from an earlier car, but it's a much prettier grill. I'm sure if anybody wanted to change it to be the correct grill, it would be easy to find and easy to do. Driving the car, all the gauges are working. Uh, Joel just tried the lighter. It works. Uh, when I started the car up this morning, I used the choke. It works as it should. And the past owner said to us that everything is functioning the way uh, that you would expect it to. Uh, this car is going to be sold out of Blaine, Washington and on an Ohio title. So we will help you get the car to your home if you want to ship it. If you wanted to come and drive it, there's certainly room for a suitcase in the back. I have no reason to think this car wouldn't get to where uh, your final destination is. Uh, please do reach out if you have any questions and we'll do our best to answer. Uh, this car was last titled in the U.S. in San Diego, California, which we have a copy of the previous title in the documentation, which we'll upload. Um, but I think the big theme here is quality. He's really, really gone to the nth degree to make sure that the car drives well, looks right, and is just an incredibly good example. Joel, do you have anything to add before we sign off? No. I think you covered it all. We'll, uh, we'll make sure as much documentation as we have and photos will be in the auction. Um, yeah, it's just a really impressive car, like Tim said. The amount of money um, that you'd have to spend to recreate this in any car is substantial. And 
I think likely this car sells for, I don't know, $35,000, $40,000, whatever it is. I think uh, you, can't, you can't get a car in this condition that is seemingly basically new in today's, in today's world and spend that. You're, you'll spend double or more. So anyway, good luck to everybody. It is no reserve. You can buy it for whatever the ending bid price is. It is out of Washington and uh, reach out if you'd like. Thank you so much.